Hey y'all. Welcome back to TNC Farm. So I've been posting a lot on my Facebook page about the horned tomato worms. I'm really intrigued by them. Never saw them before we started this garden this year. And so they're really interesting, but I wanted to give you a little view of one I found and how big they get. Okay, so watch, I'm gonna take him off, hold on. Oh, he just fell. <laughs> so yeah, look at this guy. So there's their little feet. They're like suckers and they suck onto the plant. I mean, look at how cool that is. See, and then this side is actually their mouths. They are kind of fuzzy. Um, these are fake eyes on the sides of them. I also read too on caterpillars that these little guys there, that's how they get their oxygen in. And so there's his face. And then, see, they're made to look like the back of them is a face too. That's why I really had to research when I looked at it because I was like, oh my goodness, what size which? <laughs> but look at this guy. He is so cool. So this guy can devour a whole tomato plant, like in a day. It is really crazy. And honestly, their poop, how you can tell, it's kind of gross to think about, but they're these little brown poops. But how I usually tell that they are around is my tomatoes plants will look like this. How horrible is that? It's so horrible. It just saddens my heart. So they come through and they can do that much damage in a day. So we really like to, at night, we come out with the black light. <laughs> and <laughs> it's so creepy. Uh, we'll come out with the black light and look for these guys. Oh my goodness, it just creeped me out. Sorry. But um, yeah, so we'll use the black light and try and find them. They glow. They give out, they almost look like a gray because, as you can tell, they blend in really well with the with the plants so but yeah and you can drop them in a bucket of soapy water and that will help take care of them I usually come out with a bottle and just stick them in the bottle at night so all right y'all take care